Welcome to the Tech Me Show. Today we're going to learn how to make a context menu in our Windows Phone 7 app. Uh, we're going to have to use the Silverlight for Windows Phone Toolkit, uh, which if you have the NuGet um, installed, uh, which you may notice at the bottom of your screen called the uh, Package Manager Console, uh, which we'll go forth and actually select right now, which you'll see right here, Package Manager Console. By selecting that, you can now install the Silverlight for Windows Phone Toolkit. This does not come with uh, Visual Studio or the SDK for Windows Phone 7. So at the PM Manager, we're going to go forth and now uh, type in Install, which if you press Tab, you'll notice it has an Install Package, which you then can go ahead and select Enter or Return on your keyboard. And then we're going to want to type Silverlight uh, Tool kit WP. Now this should go for it to find the package and install it for us automatically. Now as you see it's installed it and we now have it in this project which uh, we've been creating. Uh, it's actually a, a gas program for San Diego. Uh, yes I know there's many uh, <laughs> gas programs that exist currently uh, but nonetheless we're gonna just go ahead and real quick make a uh, 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 context menu. Um, so let's go forth and in our XAML go ahead and type toolkit which actually I forgot we need to go up here and let's go ahead and do XLMNS and then we're gonna wanna type in silverlight Actually, it might be right here somewhere. Here we are. And as you see, the Microsoft Phone Controls Toolkit. Uh, we can just do it that way, which seems to be easier. And normally, it should have created a, a name for us here. Um, why it hasn't is beyond me. So let's go ahead and change that. And we're going to make this uh, a colon. And we're going to just call it Toolkit. And then we'll go forth and uh, type uh, the equal sign and get rid of this uh, right there. Now we should have our toolkit right there. Um, and we don't have any errors, I don't think. Good. That's always good news. <laughs> so now, technically, if we type toolkit, great, it's there. Now we have the context menu. Um, if you've never done this before, we want to use the context menu service period and as you see it already did the context menu for us which is nice let's go ahead and end that and that's another thing that I like uh, doing an example automatically it ends it for you so that you can start building inside of it which is just great so let's go ahead and type the toolkit context menu see it automatically knew what we really wanted to do which is nice now in the context menu you can have it automatically bind stuff uh, should you want to um, that is totally up to you um, but we're just gonna right now just give it a name uh, let's do X and then uh, we'll go forth and select name and let's just call it our menu something very simple obviously uh, we're gonna end that and again do you notice how it goes forth and goes to the next line that's really nice um, so now let's go ahead and create a menu item so we're going to go ahead and type in toolkit again and see now we're back to here uh, where you actually have to select something it's no longer smart uh, you now have to choose something which we want a menu item uh, which is one of the first items that come up now in order to do this you need a header like so and we're just going to say uh, uh, we can make it say copy or say or better yet say hello like so, right? And then we could do a click, uh, and then we could just call it uh, new event handler, and so it'll do the menu item click as so. Uh, and then we want to end that like that. And that basically is it for the context menu. Uh, very simple. Um, now we can have something happen for the menu item, uh, which we can go into our XAML CS. And if we scroll up here, there we are, our menu item. And we can go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and remove this from my old 
project what I was doing. So now we could do message box dot show. Oops, message box show. This is the end result. And now if you've never done a message box and you are learning, if you go ahead and press the comma and then uh, start your quotes and put um, test successful, for instance, now you have to do it again, the comma, and you have to select the uh, message box button. And as you see, it did come up first and then period and then in this case we're just gonna do tab for OK and then we're gonna go ahead and end it and end it again so now in our emulator that's gonna pop up in a moment uh, we're gonna basically we're, and I'm gonna set this to debug which is a good idea uh, we're gonna go ahead and run it right now and this way you kinda get an idea of what we're creating over here at the Tech Me Show part of uh, compulsive technology so uh, as you see here, I have an error, and the reason is because stations tap is not found. So by double-clicking this, it's actually going to take me to my XAML file, uh, and that's simply my fault, only because I removed that where I shouldn't have. And I had it because in the stations, I was going to make it so when you click one of the gas stations, it would have gone and opened up the uh, Bing uh, GPS uh, service. So now that I removed that, we could go ahead and start debugging again, which I probably should edit from here, but this was a good learning experience for you. Um, so we're going ahead and running it. And now our uh, emulator shall be loaded. And I'm going to resize this. It's really big. Now, mind you, if you've never taken a screenshot with the Windows Phone emulator, you unfortunately have to do it completely full screen. So it gets you, I believe it's 480 by 800 or 800 by 480. Um, and uh, that allows you to make your screenshots for your program, uh, which you're going to have to send to Microsoft or uh, the, rather the App Hub, which is create.msdn.com. Um, and from there, basically, you need to uh, have these uh, screenshots so people know if they want to download your program or not, um, and, you know, whatever. So 75% is good, and the reason it's taking so long and almost looking like it's about to crash um, is only because I'm just now loading the emulator for the first time. Here we go. So in a moment it should load into here it says it's now deploying the application give it a moment loading the UI and here we go now it's loading our gas station program okay so here we are in our program if you look in our uh, pivot uh, nearby grid uh, which is this and as you see, I have it automatically collecting the information from uh, San Diego at the moment, which I'm from Las Vegas, but the program was for San Diego, so I set a specific uh, geolocation. And as you see, if I scroll through, okay, fine. So in this case, maybe somebody wants to copy the address or say we put in a phone number or something. Uh, let's say they click it or hold down on it. And by saying, uh, by, pardon me, by clicking down, or in this case it would be your finger on the phone holding it down this could say copy or something but in this case we're just trying to say hello so if we left click the context menu and there's our message box it says test successful this is the end result and that is exactly what we wanted and we know that for sure because as you see in our menu item it says say hello and click menu item click and if we go to our example and down here, the menu click, uh, it says exactly that. This is the end result. Test successful. And it was just strictly the OK button for the message box. And uh, that concludes today's tutorial. Um, if you guys enjoy uh, Windows Phone tutorials, uh, we are making programs. We do have classes. Uh, but if you would like these self-help videos and little tips and tricks, uh, let us know so we know to continue making them. Or if you'd like to see uh, Windows 8 stuff, let us know. But Windows Phone, that's where you need to be, guys. I'm telling you, you can make quite a bit of money from it. And, you know, it's fun. Uh, so think about it. But again, this is Lance for the Tech Me Show. We hope you have a good day and happy programming.